Pennsylvania man who decided to walk home in a winter storm never got there. And when he was found, police thought he had frozen to death. But one doctor wouldn't give up hope. CBS News Dick Brennan has the incredible story. I'm seen with uh, a 25-year-old male that was found laying in a uh, snowbank. All signs lead, to, lead us to believe that he's been dead for a considerable amount of time. Justin Smith was found lifeless last February beside the road near Hazleton, Pennsylvania. No pulse. His face blue. His father, who had gone searching for him, was frantic. And he was just laying there looking up, up in the sky. And... Uh, I started shaking his head, no, no, you can't leave me. In this particular instance, the coroner was already called. And they put a, a sheet over him. And now all that was needed to be done was for him to be declared legally dead. But for some reason, Dr. Gerald Coleman of Lehigh Hospital couldn't do it. He believed there was still a small chance. Uh, initially, they were almost questioning me, like, are you kidding me? Smith was raced to the hospital where the prognosis was bleak. I remember just, you know, trying to feel his extremities, and it was like, it was like a block of concrete. It was solid. But doctors went to work. They put plastic tubes in Justin to drain his blood, take the CO2 out, warm it, and put it back in his body. His father hope for a miracle. As I walked out the door, they were working on Justin, and I kissed him in the, in the forehead and said, I love you. Slowly, Justin warmed up, and so did his heart. Defying the odds, he came back to life. Twelve days later, he opened his eyes. My first memory was uh, waking up at Cedar Crest, and I saw my mom, my dad, and my two sisters. I was pretty much out of it still, but I can remember visually seeing them both. Justin lost both pinkies and all his toes, but after 11 months of recovery, he's breathing life into every minute. A good day. We'll go out, play football, baseball, take the dog out for a walk. Now, three to six minutes without oxygen, and the brain begins to die. Justin had been in the cold for 10 to 12 hours. Who knows how long he was without a pulse, but he was young, just 25, and hypothermia does preserve the body's organ. Guys, incredible. Sorry. It's amazing that they took the chance on him by continuing to, again, not to let him dead right away. Yeah, the doctor's decision. And then, and that one doctor who, by the way, yeah. his, his child, he had lost a child at, at nine days old. He had lost a child when his child was nine days old. So some said maybe that was sitting there and him nagging at him. It was quite a that's incredible. Wow. Good to see him up and around doing so well. Absolutely. A wonderful story, Dick. Thank you.